Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this sweatshirt. So the letters in this sweatshirt are from stalls.com. They come pre-cut. Um, they have different colors and everything, so you can choose your own color combination. There's also a stitch, auto stitch file you can buy. They come in formats from Malcolm to Gmail machines, so you can check that out on their website. Um, super quick, easy. Total stitch time was like seven minutes for this, so so different and unique and totally awesome and this is one of the reasons why i decided to go with the melco machine because you need a pretty big hoop for this size letters so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make this so stay tuned so here's my bin of letters and this is the light blue where is it it's not it here it is so I have them all organized. I got this off of Amazon, but here are the letters. And they have on the back the peel and stick. So I need two M's. Oh shoot, talking machines. Hold on. Alright. They're like stuck together. I got these like a year ago. One. Two. And then I need two pink A's shoot no I don't yes I do I can't spell <laughs> one two and these are the front colors and then I need the background so these are the background so one two and then two M's one Them all that. And I keep them in e each design and each thing just so that I know when I'm almost running out. All right, so it's going to look like this. Um, these are the backgrounds. A, M, A, and then goes right on top. Like that. Okay, so here is the design. Um, it is four steps, so placement, tack down, placement, tack down. There's no sand stitching, it's all zigzag. Um, so first it's gonna do the pink stitch. Um, I made it pink because the color of the sweatshirt is pink. And it'll tell me where to put the pieces, the, where to put the letters, and then I'll place the letters, and then it'll do the tack down stitch, which is also the final stitch. It's a zigzag stitch, and it's light blue because the Letters are light blue for the background. And then I make the next step, which is the placement stitch, light blue as well. That way it just saves a step, it goes all together. And then after this step, I go ahead and put the pink letters on top. And then it'll do the um, final stitch, which is a tap down stitch as well, it's just zigzag. And that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it up onto the machine. Okay, because this requires the XL hoop, I need to install the XL hoop bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them on the machine. Right, so we have our hoodie. It is a 2XL. So I'm going to turn it inside out. And I'm going to spray some stabilizer. And put it on the inside. So I have this spray and bond temporary adhesive. This is from Walmart. Um, and I'm going to spray this and then I'm going to stick it right on. All right. And you might ask why I'm doing this. Um, I hate hooping stabilizer. It's the worst thing ever. And because this is the XL hoop, it's a huge hoop, which makes it even harder to uh, hoop stabilizer. So normally I have like backing holders, but I don't have one for the XL hoop. And it is not a mighty hoop, obviously, so they don't even exist. So this is the huge <laughs> XL hoop. It is approximately 16 inches um, by 16 inches, something like that. So it is massive. Um, I'm going to tell you, you can embroider anything on the Melco. You really can. 
So I'm gonna flip this back, right right side out, whatever. And I just need it like right here. So the rest of this not being stabilized is really not the end of the world. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and put the hook in. It's a big old hoop. This is a 2XL, so um, that is why I'm using the huge, huge hoop, because you don't want your designs too small on your hoodies, because um, it doesn't look right. Finally, at a point you could have folded it in half if you wanted, and he pressed it. I just done so many of these, I don't do that anymore. And with this hoop, I need to pay attention because the Melco, the little opening on the hoop goes uh, on the right hand side. I've made that mistake so many times, so I'm going to go ahead and hoop it. And this is why I don't like normal hoops. I like my mighty hoops because you just it's just a magnet. It's way easier. But gotta do what you gotta do all right it's not it they do have like little loosening tabs so i want to loosen it and then i'm tighten it when i'm done i'm gonna keep playing games all right cool it is hooped now i'm gonna tighten it i don't want this falling off while i'm embroidering so again another reason why I love Mighty Hoops. I almost lost my soldier somewhere. And I'll use a screwdriver to tighten. It is so much easier to use a screwdriver than your hand because your hand would die, in my opinion. All right, so should be tight enough. And now what I'm going to do is I will measure just to make sure I probably should have done this before I tightened it. Alright. And now I put I like to put a little piece of tape just so I know where I want the letters to start. That way when I use the laser alignment tool, it's just I literally just have to line it up so that it will trace and show me exactly where the top letters go. For um, most adult, you do three inches from the bottom, but for 2XL, you do about three and a half to four inches from the neckline. So I don't want it too high. Um, I want it like literally to start down, right? Normal spot, normal spot. So it's about four inches from there. Cool, cool. And now we will put it on the machine. And again, just throw it on. Looks like a huge pizza. <laughs> All right. And let's go to the software. All right. So here we are on the software. We have the XL hoop selected. So it's actually 17.72 by 16 inches. I think sewing field though, it's about 16 inches. Um, I have the color sequence already selected. So eight is, here's the colors. So pink, blue, pink. And I put the stops in. So I entered it by hitting the applique button and it makes that pop up. So everything is set up to go. Only thing left to do is for me to do a trace to make sure it is at the right spot. All right, so it needs to go down literally the tiniest bit. You can't even see the laser on camera, but there's a laser. So it needs to go up a tiny bit. That is it. And we will go ahead and get started.
so the milk hole brings it out and we're just gonna peel the carrier sheet thingy off and just stick it on so you just want to line it up put it in the lines i do like to cut these little threads just because i don't want them getting stuck underneath no dos is there any more i don't see any more Like the stitch out on this is like seven minutes. Um, if that, I'm gonna cut this thread. And double check there's no other thread loose hanging. Nope, none. And then I need to cut the stabilizer on the back. And I cut as close as I can um, to the stitching without cutting the stitching. Right, and then we are going to flip it. That is what it looks like. It is super duper 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 cute. I love this. So definitely different, definitely stands out and super adorable. Now I gotta package it up and that is it. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video. Have a great week. Bye!